In the latest testimony in the Bridgegate trial, a former high-ranking appointee of New Jersey, Governor Chris Christie testified that his boss not only knew about the traffic jam while it was happening, but that it made him laugh. David Wildstein, the former Port Authority official, who has already pleaded guilty for his role in tying up traffic to get back at a small town mayor, is now a star witness in the case. Wildstein told jurors that he and Bill Peroni, one of Christie's former appointees who's on trial, met with Christie during the lane closures before a 9 11 memorial ceremony. And according to Wildstein, Baroni told Christie about the, quote, tremendous amount of traffic in Fort Lee. Major traffic jams. You'll be pleased to know Mayor Sokolich is very frustrated, Wildstein told the court. The governor laughed when he heard the news. One of the prosecutors asked Wildstein if he and Baroni were bragging to the governor. Yes, very much so, he said. We discussed how pleased we were. The boss was happy. Yesterday, Christie once again denied being involved. Quote, I had no role in authorizing it. I had no knowledge of it. And there has been no evidence ever put forward that I did. Mark Alpern, what's that mean? I would like to believe Chris Christie I have from the beginning. So I like to believe people who I yeah, like well, and good. cover and respect. You like but this, is, this has been a difficult thing to understand given the way his office operated and given his his uh, keen interest in politics. What do you think that he didn't know? You've now got one person testifying vividly that he did. You've got these photos, but they're not, it's not proof. And it's going to be interesting proof. to see if anything emerges at the trial, including testimony from others. Don't know if the defendants are going to take the stand, whether other people make the case that Governor Christie knew. But he has been steadfast in saying, didn't know, didn't authorize it. And the latest version uh, is that, well, maybe they said something to him, but he thought it was a joke. Mike Barnacle? Well, I'm inclined to agree with Mark. I mean, I like, I like Chris Christie. Uh, he's fun to cover. He's fun to follow. Uh, the idea that the way he operates as a politician, that he would not know or have an inkling of this occurring, is it's tough to get your, your hands around that. He is not under indictment. As far as I know, he is not under investigation. So we're going to have to see how this plays out. Yeah. Just the way, the, the notion that someone would do that who was on his staff without telling him mm -hmm, and yeah. took the risk that he wouldn't like it, I just always found that hard to believe. Yeah, if I worked for Chris Christie, really... I would not. I would not order ten more envelopes without checking with him. Yeah, he ran a pretty that's authoritarian a really office, from what we hear. That he understood what was going on and knew what was going on, and expected people to tell him what was going on. Right. But I like. I, I say again, I'd like. I'd like to believe him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah.